Stay up to date with LN24-7. LN24-7. With news, politics, business, sports, and more on LN24-7. Where the story goes, we go. Well, Helen, thank you very much for staying with Selen 24-7. You're watching News Now at this time, and I am Precious Obaze. We begin this bulletin from Nigeria. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, has announced the names of Chairman and Deputy Chairman of the 134 Standing Committees. Abbas will announce the constitution of the committees at the twilight of Plenary Thursday, also named the Chairman and their Deputies. Given the appointees charge, Abbas asks them to be diligent and transparent in the discharge of their duties. Fellow citizens and members of the press, I'm highly honored to welcome you all to today's plenary, which marked the end of the legislative year in the first session of the 10th Assembly. Today we will equally mark the commencement of committee activities in the 10th House of Representatives, as we formally unveil and inaugurate the newly constituted standing committees of the House for members to begin to respond to the yearnings of our constituents through the discharge of our constitutional obligations. The duration of standing committees today not only marks the completion of the initial phase of settling down, but also underscores our dedication to efficient governance. Pursuant to Section 62 of the 1999 Constitution, as amended, which empowers us to work through committees, I am glad to inform the House and the general public that the Selection Committee, which I chair, has concluded the Constitution of Committees for the House. The Selection Committee relied on the capacities, experiences, knowledge, competences, skills, and legislative interests of members and assigning colleagues to different committees. Colleagues, you will recall that the leadership of the House has consistently assured members of its resolve to be fair to all, irrespective of political leanings and affiliations. There are no great A, no the so-called juicy committees, as some erroneously often think. Every committee of the House enjoys equal status, powers and privileges as mere working groups to discharge the mandate given to us by our constituents. The principle of teamwork should guide our engagement in these committees. Committee chairmen must ensure that there are, there are functional secretariats for their respective committees. This is very crucial as the House is redefining legislative work at the committees. All committees are now required to submit regular reports of their activities to the leadership of the House on a quarterly basis. Investigative hearings, public hearings, and reports from oversight functions have to be submitted to the House in plenary. Stay tuned to LN247. All LN247 channels will bring you sporting updates, and of course, updates in every other area of news you can think of. I have been your host, Prashant Zabaze. Thank you very much for watching. Stay up to date with LN247. LN247. With news, politics, business, sports, and more on LN247. Where the story goes, we go.